Imagine you start to make YouTube videos. Every penny you make, you save. All just to buy basic gear. Then one day, a company is willing to pay you $10,000 for just a simple sponsorship. You can finally afford to live in a nice neighborhood, buy some dope sneakers, or you can bet it all on red. That's what Mr. Beast did, and oh boy, did it pay off. Now, if you haven't heard this classic Mr. Beast story, let me give you a quick refresher. So back in 2017, a collectibles trading app, Quid, offered Jimmy $10,000 to simply sponsor one of his videos but they needed to hear the pitch for the video he was going to make. And what he told them, I bet, shocked them. And I'm like, no, I want $10,000. And he's like, 5,000. I'm like, no, I want 10,000. I just want to walk out my front door and go give it to a homeless person. And he's like, really? See, Jimmy was going to take all of the money they were going to give him and give it away to someone in need. More specifically, a homeless man he'd seen on the streets. Now, his mother didn't think this was a smart idea and Quid was probably thinking to themselves, all right, kid, you want to give away all your money. But they went ahead with the deal and the rest is history. At the time, this was completely revolutionary. No one was giving away this kind of money to complete strangers. I mean, nowadays, every second YouTube shorts is someone giving away a thousand or ten thousand dollars to strangers. But back then, this was a game changer. Investing this much money into one YouTube video this early in the game meant that his channel got a lot more attention, which really kickstarted the explosive growth that we are about to see. And his strategy has always been, before and after this point, to always reinvest every single cent that he makes back into his YouTube channel. But is that the smartest move for everyday YouTubers like you and me, who don't necessarily want to be the number one channel in the world, but we still want to grow to a healthy, respectable size? Well, yes, and kind of no. See, it depends on the situation you're in and how fast and how big your goals are. So this is the usual YouTuber growth graph. It normally starts off really slow, really low. Then eventually we get to a point where one of your videos gets pushed and it bumps your channel up to a new baseline. And then we move along, we get another uptick and so on and so forth until we reach really high levels. Not every channel gets there, but most if we continue on this path and keep improving our videos do get there. Now this process can take a couple of years. Now what reinvesting does is it moves these upticks across in time so they happen earlier, more frequently, and the jumps to different baselines are higher. So instead of going from a 10 view per day channel to a 20 view per day channel, we're going from a 10 view to a thousand view to 10,000 to a million view per day and even higher potentially. And that's gonna happen much quicker the more we reinvest in our channel. That is if we reinvest smartly and doing so means what would have normally taken potentially decades only takes a couple of years and it can open up way bigger opportunities because let me ask you this question. Do you think Mr. Beast could have afforded to spend $4 million on just one video if he didn't reinvest every single cent from his channel from the beginning? Well, he definitely wouldn't be able to do it today. And I would say he would never reach that level if he didn't reinvest every single cent. But at the end of the day, the more at the beginning you can responsibly reinvest into your channel, the faster you'll move through the ranks and eventually be earning higher levels of income from your channel, going from $1 a day to you know $1,000 a day or even more. And importantly, never underestimate the power of just that $1 at the beginning, because that's the start of that entire journey. It always starts with just $1. And before we touch on the crucial question, which you really need to consider, we also need to factor in taxes, right? Because we're reinvesting our money back into our channel, a lot of those investments are going to be tax write-offs, which means at the end of the day, while you're building your channel up to that higher level, you're not paying taxes because you're investing, all that income is getting brought down to nothing. And therefore you can grow to a much higher level to eventually, you know, when you're earning a million dollars a year, then you can pay taxes on that. When you're earning $10,000 a year, $50,000 a year, you don't want to pay taxes on that. So reinvesting that will then build you up to that higher level to where you eventually want to be anyway. But herein lies the crucial question, the question that I have, the question that you have, and that is when we're reinvesting our money back into our channels, because clearly that's the smartest thing to do, 
what should we actually spend our money on? You know, should we buy better cameras? Should we buy better microphones? Should we hire an editor? What do we do here? Well, let's think about it. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do is make the most amount of money possible from our channel. Now, you may be saying, Brandon, I just wanna do YouTube for fun. I wanna do YouTube to have an impact on the world. Well, let me query you this. The more money you have, the more fun you can have. The more money you have, the more impact you can have. But what do we reinvest in? Well, simply, there's just two factors that we need to focus on. The rest we can just ignore. So the first factor is things that will increase the amount of views that we get, which is directly correlated to the quality of our content. Now, I'm not talking about picture quality. We don't need to reinvest into cinema level cameras, but we need to reinvest into our ideas and the execution of those ideas to make better videos. The second thing we have to focus on is the speed at which we can produce these high quality videos that get views. Because let's say we make 12 videos a year each of them gets a million views and makes you know, one to $2,000. That's gonna be $12,000 to $24,000 a year. Not too great. But if we can produce 100 videos a year, then all of a sudden we're making really good money. So the faster and more efficiently we can produce content that gets a lot of views, the more our channel is overall going to make each year. But here's the crucial thing. You need to factor in return on investment, especially if you're a new channel. Now ROI or return on investment basically means if I spend $100 on a new microphone, am I going to see a return on that investment worth more than $100? In other words, buying that microphone, is my channel gonna make more than $100 because I bought that microphone. You know, is my audio quality gonna be that much better that I bring in a new audience, people watch longer, I make more money? Is it going to result in, you know, $100 worth of efficiency savings? You know, I'm saving time because this microphone is easier to set up. This is a thing that you need to factor in when making these purchasing decisions. Because let's say, you know, I'm a product reviewer and I wanna buy this $10,000 PC to review on my channel but my channel is so new and my videos aren't that great, then when I buy this PC and review it, only 1,000 people watch the video. There's no affiliate link with it, it's just AdSense earnings and I only get like $10 back from that $10,000 investment. That return on investment is negative $9,990. That's not very smart. So we need to focus on things that are gonna give us the most bang for our buck when we're starting out. And the number one thing we can do here is to invest in our video ideas smartly. That's what Mr. Beast did, and that's why he's at the level that he is right now. He didn't focus on buying the most expensive cameras to give the best picture quality because he realized that once you get a decent camera, that little incremental improvement doesn't really make a difference. So the smarter thing to do is to take the money that we're earning and invest in our video ideas. You know, if you're a product reviewer, like I said, you can buy more products to review. But again, you wanna make sure that buying those products will result in a return equal to or greater than what you spent on them. Now you can be smart here because you can buy a product, you can review it, which will earn you some AdSense money. Then potentially you could sell that product later or you could use that product for your channel, which will give you an efficiency return, potentially, depending on what you're reviewing. So you can start to be smarter with the decisions you're making. So speed and quality. If we focus on these two things and reinvest as much as we responsibly can, maybe one day we'll be reinvesting $4 million into our channel for one video as well.